achieve oh wait that's what i heard my trainer saying screaming at me no no it's all in my head when my trainer actually made me walk like a duck in the gym hallway good morning fellow toastmasters and dear guests a gym can be a very scary place for first timers like me who are so motivated to get fat me get fit <laughs> i have been a person who has always wanted to get fit 36 my form 36 <laughs> so my journey at the gym begins with one realization i am 36 54 and 36 in the parallel universe of course <laughs> so my first day at the gym started with me walking nervously through the gym as i nervously noticed all the corner eyes measuring me not to bother i very nervous first time I woke up to my trainer, who awaits me like Jaya Bachchan from Kabi Khushi Kabi Kam, <laughs> not with a thali, but with a measuring tape <laughs> to measure me, of course. And I can see all the eyes of sexy ladies, hot, beefy men measuring me with their judgmental eyes. I am so nervous, but. I start my gym at the gym. You know, my brother calls me names. Ola bear, <laughs> elephant. <laughs> I prefer elephant. They're much cuter. You know the feminine side of me. <laughs> so I religiously worked out every day. Waking up at five a.m. in the morning. Who does that? Do you wake up five a.m.? You? Anybody? No, no, no. I do. You <laughs> sing up. I also wake up. <laughs> and I drink toxic drinks. No, I mean detox drinks. <laughs> do you not know, hear my sister? I check on my diet. I skip burgers and pizzas. Hard life. I do it anyway. I need to get fit. Okay. I follow my instructor religiously, day, afternoon, evening, night, and here I am. Still. In the gym, do you know the most common equipment which is overused? Mirror. Mirror. Yes, it's a mirror. You work out for just five minutes, and you go and check in the mirror. I have lost weight. I can see it. Let me talk to you about my friends at the gym. Since I'm a woman, and ladies first. So we we'll talk about women. So there are various categories of women you will find at the gym. The first category are those who are dead serious with their workout routine. They will work out with their earphones plugged in, and will not talk with anybody. None. They will be serious to work out, and they will work out. The second category is of course who come to the gym. Only to go see. Their agenda in life is do not work out and do not let others work out. <laughs> they, are, they only want to talk about their cats, their dogs, their aunt, their auntie, their husband, their mother-in-law, and everything else other than working out. The next categories are those who I personally aspire. The one who don't need to work out, but anyway they are at the gym. They are on Instagram humans. They take selfies. More than half of the population in the gym, and I personally look up to them. 
because we are so perfect, huh? And we aspire to become perfect when we are at the gym, trying to get fit. Now let's talk about my favorite category. Any guesses? The men. <laughs> we cannot live without men, can we? So in every gym, you're bound to find two specific thirty men. <laughs> who are your motivation? They will come and check your from far and near, even through the mirror. <laughs> and for no reason, they'll keep walking up to you just to show you their muscles or maybe abs and maybe just to smile at you to keep you motivated. Do you need some water? Dal? Anything? The next category of men are those who have biceps. And their biceps have biceps. The <laughs> <laughs> hot baby men. And when they do deadlifts, ah, they roll. <laughs> they roll like tigers. You've seen animals roaring to attract mates. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and the favorite category are those who have suggestion givers. <laughs> They'll come to you and give you suggestions. You know, you should take this protein and uh, whey protein and uh, BCAA protein and protein and protein and protein. <laughs> How much protein can you take, guys? Come on. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.